Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, this is a, basically a, a Pro Tools tutorial video where I show you guys how um, how you basically incorporate machine and Pro Tools. And I did a tutorial a few months ago about um, basically separating um, each sound from machine that you play out or whatever you have on a pattern. If you wanted to take out that sound and have it on Pro Tools in its own track. So let me, let me just show you what what I mean. Um, if you guys didn't see the video, so you have machine right here, and you have patterns going on. But oh, sorry about that. But you want to get each sound. You want to get each sound to their own audio track. No, to their own aux track, so basically you can mix it from there like how I did right here. I didn't do a lot of mixing, but, you know, you get the point. You could mix potentially all these drums. So, yeah, basically you could do whatever you want. You don't have to stick to whatever machine has to offer because machine doesn't have that, that many great plugins or effects to mess with it, to begin with. So it's better to, to use something that has more versatility and all that. So what basically what I'm gonna show you today is how to how to make all these aux tracks into audio tracks. Since a lot of people have been asking me about it. So you have 18 aux tracks, so what you do is you you would make 18 audio tracks, the same amount. And make sure they're all mono, you know, according to the drums. They're all mono. So I'm not gonna name them. But you go back to this, you highlight all of these. You, you do that by holding shift, click one, and then click until the end, and hold shift. Well, hold shift and click. But um, the fa basically what you want to do is change the output of each one. Each one right now has output uh, one and two, which is from my interface right now. And um, basically you want to change it so it could go to a bus which is one of these but you want to change it to that you want to change the output not add a new send so what you would do is start from like start from the first empty one and head all the way down to like 18 more which will probably be like what 20 28 29 so um the faster way to do this is hold shift option command Select the first available mono one, not the stereo, mono, and then click. And it basically, in ascending order, it changes all the outputs from bus 11 to 28. That's for the outputs of the aux track. So now heading on to the audio, you would do the same thing, shift, option, command, and change the inputs this time, but the same thing, starting from 11. And then it changes it all the way up to 28. So you you I don't need this right here. So from there basically you could go ahead and you won't hear any sound you won't hear any sound from um from these aux tracks no more. You only hear it from the audio tracks, but listen like if you hear it there's nothing going on. You can't hear anything because Audio tracks only play stuff that's printed. If you actually see like a waveform, a region, or a clip, as what Pro Tools 10 calls it, um, you won't see, you won't hear anything. So what you have to do is you have to arm all the tracks, all the audio tracks, hold Option and click one of the record buttons, and then play it and record.
basically those are all my drums and now it's printed so in all reality I don't need this anymore um, I don't need no machine plug-in I don't need the aux tracks if you haven't mixed yet then you know you could get on to mixing but this is basically the the naked signal I actually did have some plugins on the aux track so just just a warning whenever you have plugins already on the aux track and then you're pr you're routing it into audio track and printing it you're gonna get how that audio sounds like with all those plugins already on top of it so it'll be a wise idea to bypass all the plugins or make them inactive and then move them forward onto the audio tracks you know corresponding to each track but this this is the simple way of making audio tracks sorry about that and you could hear each one and you see each one so you know, it, this is logical it makes sense to, to do it like this so um, hope you guys learned something today um, the keyboard shortcut of day Shift, Option, Command, whenever you want to do cascading orders, you know, like change the output of all of these, but you have to have everything highlighted. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to change the output of, you have to have it highlighted. Hold Shift, Option, Command, and then, you know, select something that's free. And then it goes in cascading order. These are named differently, but there's ba they're basically one through six. Then it keeps going, you know. So, hope you guys learned something today. Use it to your advantage and keep mixing. I'll see you guys later.